doesn't it help innocence out? Don't die on me, man. Where do I need to go now? I have to leave this mushroom field. Let me see what else they have here. Must be saying here. No? Nope, nothing. Oh, at least you can go out this way, man. I thought I would have to backtrack. Thank God. Go see Jay. What? Oh my God, another one. Gotta go and see Jay. Hey, Roy. We're almost ready to leave this hole. Go tell your guard buddy that the dusts are gonna mutiny. That'll create a diversion. Okay, you can count on me. Meet you back at the train? Later, Jay. Gangster. Gangster. 
a side quest so it wasn't too important. Oh that guy's got a shield. He dead. I'm gonna finish you off man. money I can have. What the hell man? Can't help those guys. Oh well. a bit what can you tell me about it they let me walk around here so I did and I blocked off the walkways it's not much but it should mean that we won't have guards shooting down at us from up there I also took a few things I hid in a crate a bit further on they didn't see a thing well looks like you didn't completely waste your time well done now we got to cut the transformer come on let's go
I guess the other side has guards as well, right? Oh, you can't go that way. Alright, let's just keep moving on. Oh, he's got a gun. Yeah, he's got no armor, man. Dead, mate. Oh, fuck. Train can't be very far now. Oh, shit. The boss man. Well, well, Mary was right. It would seem our genius prisoner is seeking to part company with us. That would explain all of the inconveniences we've been experiencing lately. I suggest you surrender, sir. You know I cannot let you escape, and that I have the power to stop you forever. Concentrate on the same target as me, and he'll eat dirt. Magic, man, and I've just got a stupid damn fucking um, shitty ass weapon. Oh god. Go now. We're gonna have all the camp guards on our asses after that. Damn, 
You killed a Technomancer. I didn't think it was even possible. Of course you can kill them. They're human beings, you know? <laughs> Technomancer. What? Wh what are you doing? Are we going? Shouldn't we get rid of this thing? What are we gonna do with that? Yes! It'll give us a better chance to escape. And that's what they use for their magic. All these wires? You're gonna sell them? Shit. Never thought I'd put these things back on. Put them back on? Roy, what are you saying? You know how to use these things? Yes. Now let's go. Now I can use magic. Jay, we're here. The train ready? Almost. Just a few more minutes, kid, and we'll be breathing trail dust. It's not over yet, Jay. There's an entire regiment on our ass. There's no way to get this machine to go any faster. No, Roy. Sorry. I've done my best. But I got an idea. I'll hold them off. Don't be stupid, Jay. If you go, they'll kill you. Let's face it. I got a better chance of slowing them down than you. You gotta be kidding. Why don't you just call me a fucking pussy? You keep an eye on the kid. You guys are almost family. You'd tear him up if something happened to you. Get them! Stay there. I'll find another way to get out. See you in Shadow Lair. Now go! They... They're going to kill him, aren't they? Yes. Let's just make sure his sacrifice won't be for nothing. Master? Master! Sean? It... it can't be. Not you. How could that monster kill you? How dare he take your things? What? Okay. He'll pay for this. I swear. I'll hunt him to hell if I have to. The man who saved me, and who got me involved in this unbelievable escape, had more facets his personality than I could ever have. Roy's strength and bravery are only equaled by his biting cynicism. He takes down enemies as if they were poor jokes in lack of a good punchline. Better to stay on his good side. It's when I learned he was a technomancer that he started making sense to me. His knowledge about relics, his attitude, he's different from anyone I'd ever met before. His mastery of technomancy, it sets him apart. The last pieces started coming together when I discovered he was a fugitive that he had fled the source to escape the gilded cage of the Technomancers. He risked it all to be free. If his need for freedom pushed him to escape the Technomancers, a POW camp in the middle of the desert would never suit him. The journey is long. We have to avoid being recaptured by abundance and get back behind our own lines. Aurora seems to have won the war and both sides are demobilizing troops. We've abandoned the train, moving from one shadow line to the next, staying away from marauders. I had more than enough time to question him about his past and what went on at the camp. What he thought of Sean and his apprentice, for example. He doesn't always answer. To be honest, he rarely does at all. But I know him a whole lot better all the same. At least I like to think so. I'm proud to know him. I hope a little of his strength rubs off on me.
You sure your parents are gonna be okay with someone like me coming around? Even if I am bringing the prodigal son back. You'll be welcome. My parents are in the militia. I can't wait to tell them all you did for me. Many things seem to have changed while we were away, and that includes the militia's popularity. We'll see. You were lucky enough to snag some clothes your size. That'll be more discreet than those prison uniforms. And I have the feeling this will prove useful around here. <laughs>